Welcome to Ask Grandma Carol. Today I have a question from Ryan. He wants to know why some bodies of water are fresh while others are salty. Fascinating issue, Ryan. Today we'll explore why some bodies of water are salty while others are not. When people talk about fresh water, they're generally referring to water people can drink. They may also be talking about water from lakes, rivers, snow and ice. They are not talking about oceans and seas. There are five lakes surrounding the state of Michigan. Lakes Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario that are referred to as the Great Lakes. They hold about 90% of the fresh water in the United States. This is about 20% of the fresh water on Earth. Rivers like the Mississippi in the United States, the Amazon in South America, and the Nile in Egypt and Sudan are also fresh water. Water from oceans is salty. The oceans on Earth are the Arctic, Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Antarctic. This is almost 97% of the water on Earth. 2% of water on Earth is stored as fresh water in glaciers, ice caps, and snowy mountain ranges. That means that only 1% of the Earth's water is available to us for our water supply needs. The water cycle is continuous and describes the movement of all water on Earth. It starts in oceans and other standing bodies of water, which are heated by the sun. The sun raises their temperature and causes evaporation. You can see evaporation at home when your mother or father boils a pot of water. The heated water begins to evaporate into the air. If the pot is left on the stove too long, all the water will evaporate into the air, leaving the pot empty. Evaporated water from the oceans rises and accumulates in the Earth's atmosphere. Once the atmosphere is saturated, the vapor becomes rain or snow and falls back to Earth where it settles or finds itself in rivers, lakes, or back in the ocean. Rain in rivers breaks down the rocks it passes over just a little. Tiny bits of the minerals from the rocks are carried along with the rainwater as it runs into rivers and later the ocean. These tiny bits of minerals are what makes the ocean salty. So now you know, rain replenishes fresh water in rivers and streams so they don't taste salty. But the rivers collect salt and minerals as they flow and deposit them into oceans, which is why they are salty. Do you have a question for Grandma Carol? Email me at askgrandmacarol at yahoo.com. Yours just might be one of the questions I answer on the show. And don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when new episodes come out.